done last time. Our boss decided to basically stop really caring, try to become an author, and go on a small break from work. And then when we got back, the higher management basically told him, What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be doing your job. Not this whole crazy author business and research, whatever the hell you do. Get back to work. Well, we basically had a weird week where it was like, hey, you should kill things in this order, and all these last three, and every other one, and it was like, um, but yeah, even if we didn't do it properly, so long as we killed the right number, the boss didn't even give a shit. It's like, oh yeah, whatever, you should do it, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we're about to actually doing things properly. So, one, two, three, so. But we have nine to go today. Nine. Which are breakthrough about to uh, all which you mainly expect to the consume non biodegradable plastics. Well there you go. Save budget expenses and especially surplus. Baffled. Old man opens a rider guard tower. Huzzah! Pregnancy rates are increasing. The scientist baffled. So, what do we have today? My mother's a scared to spin right the situation that everything got all jumbled up in our fast delivery system. So, you should listen to your gut today. Your gut, yes, because you are, you know, scouted. Gosh, for the day, go with the flow. The f the f the f go with the flow. Lay the food for the sheep, lay alone over stuff for the sheep. Until recently, Jody and Bruce's life was a library. One day they visited an expedition and at least they opened a erotic art museum. Now they experienced an awakening source, this is not for your succession to become a song. Well, there you go. So much because of uh, the bringing of justice, but because of the political power and position brings. And Elijah's having power and influence with the MP and Max. I'm familiar with it. Anyway. When the uh, editor sent Henry Poe to Fairway School with a pen, they realized from that moment onward that their best friends would only be found on the pages of books, as these friends cannot 
Strangers of good old outer violence, taking some outer bribes and scams and some outer temptations. After that, I regularly judge the dark children, sometimes work as corner and assistant. Well, that's nice and all, but no. Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? You've been clicking around for quite a while. That break in the fourth wall. Perhaps a short break is in order? Time to gather your wits? Stretch a bit? The world won't explode if you step away for a second. Probably. No problem. It wasn't that easy getting you here. To the office, where you belong. Okay, voices in my head. Anyway, mate. How'd I do? Do you even care anymore? Grim, welcome. You know, pursuing my art has given me insights. I have been thinking of humanity of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. So what's the result, so? A disarray of thoughts. Listen, is death really such a bad thing? It would be better for everyone. In fact, do these humans even truly exist? Their ephemeral being leads to no relevant outcome. It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance, considering them the center of the universe. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Stars explode, galaxies form, or get torn apart. There are departments even for these events. Well, what would that be a fun department to work at? The department where you basically wait... Where you basically wait millions and billions of years for stars to explode to document. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences, millions upon billions of them, everyone considering themselves unique. And technically they are, I suppose, on a minor scale. 
yet also exceedingly similar. Copying each other, living through similar events with similar basic reactions. While the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot and will not even experience or perceive ever. Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding. Do you know the saying, Grimm? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it... Good, yes. Imagine that. Life reduced only to some human vicinity. The ultimate height of arrogance ingrained in them to imagine their presence to be paramount. The tree does not only sound, it has been sounding a long time. It has grown without anyone present. It has lived a life. None of this requires humanity to be there to bear witness. You wish for a daily performance review instead of a thoughtful discussion? Uh, sure. Fine, let me gather the files. I certainly put them somewhere. Here. Oh, yes, you absolutely did everything correct today. Such meticulous profile work. Happy? Sometimes I do not comprehend you at all. Well, that concludes our meeting. Good night, Grim. He praised me. Uh. Mighty, tis an utmost pleasure to see you again.
sure it's notorious for a quite anti-corporate protest. Quite a Wall Street fan takes that question to a whole new level. The man corporations the governments to take action against the growing in inequality crisis. They also love to to take the pledge with them to their protests. Good for you. <laughs> to a former spirit. Good for you. I believe that both spirit and the tree are from the future as they are not still seem to be a lot older than the rest of the forest. I enjoy nature but other than that, you know, the richer is a friend. Whipping which seems to be all the part of the leader. Congratulations for joining the call. And you all the good I mean, you have a compassionate human being until they sir got served long order and then and I died of it. Well, they decided they needed to find a place to put the money for a church politics. Currently, the nation is people who have a organization. To end the quota between people. Ah, the beginning. It has the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass, every ray of light. It is a captivating day, is it not, Grim? No. Yeah. Only bad going on in the world. Indeed. Alas, transformations often require sacrifices. Do you agree? I'd probably help cause it. Ah, uh, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. Okay. Not much else to say. Go on, get back to work. I trust you to make the correct choices. Okay. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done. While there is still time. I think I've screwed up and everything's falling apart. I have to fix it all because he doesn't give a shit. If I ever returned to the seas, oh, I I'd have ye on me crew anytime. I could take that. We'd have a little bit of a thing for him where we, you know, writing his book or something. Such a stamp. Oh, look at all this money. That's a. What do I have to say? Bad. Nothing. Basketball player tester has bombed streets breast. Bulls, bombs, bomb, the old pet, and a bull headed that defenders. Come to miss me. Found me a pet, let go after it's not dead at home, and I'm probably being good, sophisticated, blood erotic, if it's in nature. Hate speech and lawyer, he said, it's extremely in this grassroots organization taking over, but even more draconian than I hate. 
I tried some of those people. Shit. <laughs> Since it was after that, we have eight choices. Oh god, what have we done? <laughs> uh, lying on the first level of person. I really was making them an email. Not going to keep them more happy than having the choice to keep. Why the letter for you? Which is the corner of Wall Street. Lack of her. a green tinge and the taste could only be described as like licking a battery. Okay, despite the protest of their spouse, they're always keen to investigate any and all oddity slice throws away. Nope, that's a bit weird. I'm not sure I can even pipe it and really had anything to do with making the cows that much. Tell me it's been a prominent figurehead in the psychotic academic after reading and killing after receiving their doctorate. Enjoy widespread success with the theory of baseline happiness. World governments remain skeptical, however, in the leisure times Emmy enjoys growing and making berries. Trees in the backyard. Oh, don't you sound great. Who do a wife? They mean a massively corrupt law enforcement official. They do their job efficiently, but also engage in bribery and impotence. To run a very successful smuggling ring that provides weapons and lives and mansions to developing countries. They have rescued cats they love very much. I blame the mooch. Okay then. During the first century concert, I was in university where they offer a ministry of help for guidance to undergraduates. Sometimes they help organize academic events, like groups and business, but they still try Time to engage in the passion, snowboarding. It's like there's so many good ones here. And yet you only need to murder seven of them. I'm pretty sure it's a... Do I even have to murder six? Kind of... Kind of... Sure, I probably wish they would. Born to the Renaissance Society, as they have many skills that are simply useless in today's world. self proclaimed and hipster. The other times the world got to it, but they never said they were currently homeless and they were so to a doctor. So now we proceed to say, Vladimir, uh, not even Vladimir, Vlagalagomir, Jews of organizing a pretzel invasion, judging opposition to pretzel pastries, they had to pick up more pretzel supremacy. Pretzel shall one day rule the land of confectionary. Yeah. 
there's only seven. Oh shit. Everyone has to die. Sorry, mate. Hey, what, pray tell, happened to the world? I'm pretty sure I screwed up. I screwed up. Stuck in a hole and insistent on using the scythe as a shovel. Do you know the story of the wyvern and the prince consort? No. Of course you do. A young, quick-witted prince consort was once kidnapped by a wyvern. Using their gift of charm, they tried to alter the ways of the wyvern in order to save their lands. Soon, the beast and the prince found resonating ideas and ambitions. They molded the land in rather inept ways, whilst thwarting attempts of rescue by the queen. Then the wyvern, tired of the desolation, ate the prince and flew away. Yes. Yes. It doesn't matter if your mistakes were countless or few, as long as you learn the lesson. We are thankful of our time together, even as it's quickly running out. It'll be pretty horrible from here on out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I find out. I should have started doing some of the things like, oh well, you need to kill six humans. I probably should have started letting some of them live. Because everything's falling apart. And either Fate's trying to make everything happen and fall apart because he doesn't care about the humans anymore. Or I'm just, I've just screwed up because he has a very big head I mean, I, everything looks in order, whatever. I don't care. I want to work on my book. Like, yeah, he is a very caffeine. And everything's falling apart and I'm going to get all the blame. Okay. Grim, I find myself at an impasse. Lend me your thoughts. Should my prose be more experimental? Or should I stick to traditional narrative techniques? Ah, see, he does it even. Grand, yes. There is a reason it has persevered for so long, hmm? You are still here, Grim. I guess you want to talk um, about work instead? Yes, I mean, that's sort of Oh, fine. Let us take a look at the situation. Bad. My, so much chaos. Pain and suffering are off the charts. A dystopian monoculture enforced by Frolix Productions, the only remaining Ultra Corporation. Ah, it will not last long. Nearly all resources have already been wasted. Humans turned into food paste to feed the starving affluent, into batteries to power the distraction complexes. One has to admire the ingenuity of Walt Guybrush. Oh great, so what because I really let him live I caused this. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. The world just keeps getting worse. Are you sure? 
You are but a grain in this cosmic process, lacking the complete picture. I don't know exactly. Ah, uh, what is done is done. These are the consequences you must live with, while you still live. Off to work, Grim. Certainly you have no time to waste now. Well, at least you gave some import. Everything. <laughs> How many times have we met? I lost all count. I'm screwed up by the radio. Shiver me timbers! Tis a tale most sordid. Maybe that'll make I dare not even recall the details. But since ye wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Good work. Diesel truck in between the pirate and the legend and churn mad fat. No, not mad mad. Whoever gets in the way of us starts to go there with a little giant piece of the book. And this is the one they went with. Mm, hello, Grim. I have been absorbed in my work. Tell me, how goes it out there in the wilds? Yeah, just for, for spying, Fate so. unconstrained, with nothing to stop it. Seems a terrible power, yes? Minds and personalities erased, people reduced to look like mindless drones consuming the Entertainment of frolics? Ugh, oh, that looks like a nerve stapler. 
My, my, it truly looks like the end. I am giddy with anticipation. Mm hmm, the worst. Well, I do hope you will manage. Goodness, look at the time, Grim. Precious moments wasted. Enjoy your night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure fate set me up. Fate wants them all to end. Okay. Uh, yeah, and what do we do? Okay. Ever wonder if there's a way to do things differently? Yes. Uh, we'll the, the base, the marble plate of yore. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon. A socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. The shade made from the skull of the beast of Ogward. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Guiana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith, built this illuminator. He also loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzled. Pranked him right back by knocking his teeth out. <laughs> well, there you go. Everything bad. Oops. Oh. Two more days. You've done well, Grand Reaper. Yeah, I... We both know that. Yeah, wasn't believable at all. We lack the imagination to pretend this is a world where you were competent. So, what comes next? Too late. Unless you cobble together a bit of temporal manipulation. Hop over to a different reality and do better. That'd really be something. But where did I actually start growing up? If such a button existed, it'd obviously be called, like, New World Plus. Go on, Oddball. Nothing else to wait for. I don't even know what to say. Me neither. Sometimes, that's the best we can do. We've reached the end. In general, I mean. Not with us. We 
will never leave you. As long as there is a you, there will be us. Until the next round. Yep. Everything went to shit. I said, sorry that the last two going went just live. It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. Enjoy the silence, Grim. Do not waste these precious moments. From imaginative spirits to mindless automatons, then ground to dust by their malicious overlords when crisis finally struck. A swan song for those who forgot how to dream and improve and gave themselves to lethargic mediocrity. We screwed everything up. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. I wonder if I get to read it. Soon enough. Patience, my friend. Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. Time's running out, friend. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Time is running out. Oh, I guess it's my last day. The last day, Grim. The last choice. So, how did you choose? Death. As is appropriate. I mean, you could have left, but yeah. No need to prolong the suffering of the last one. We are not cruel, after all. Uh, you behind it all somehow. That would seem fairly obvious by now, I gather. I started realizing. When you start talking about how you wanted to change things, how you didn't care about how all these humans' lives were meaningless, I'm pretty sure you started setting me down the path where I ended up screwing everything up and getting everyone murdered. The great so dying the is by my design. It is true, I do not love humanity, not a bit. But why, you ask? Yes, but why? I have grown tired of it all. This tedious existence. These humans. The endless tirade of death. It is all meaningless, you see. An endless loop of monotony that I cannot escape. That we cannot escape. So, now what? Do you know how long... I have been doing this. I barely remember myself. I am exhausted I'm, and sick of it all. I wish to stop, what but no one can leave until this? the job is done. But if the great dying claimed them all... But would a tired man can't fall? 
Then I could be free and claim the rest I deserve. So I helped the great dying along, piece by piece. No need for an equilibrium. This office will not be necessary, and we can all fade away. And performed admirably. Off you go, Grim. Do what you wish with these final hours. We will not be meeting again. Well, what about your book? But your book. Is the book all alive too? And mankind's are coming to its innate flaws. Society is falling. Powerfully way to fade away. Well, wow, shit. Fellow traveler, that was fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did largely screw everything up. The world is in shambles and all. And Can't really change that. But, screw me, but I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. Nah, nah, that's enough for this series. Um, gang. Oh. Thy chose it. Anyway, then. Oh, great. You're gonna make me do this. I have to decide the fate of the developers. Sure. One annoying unpowered master of melodies. The sorcerer of all rhythm. Grand prize of fun. He's crept all the amazing moves for this whole game. You get to live. Sarah <laughs> Sanchez during the day, angry right at night. As a similar flashes to the Grim Reaper. Uh huh. This is for making fate. This is for making, um, that. <laughs> The show for leader Death and Taxes makes a lot of with the good as art for the game as well. They love cats. You can only have. Marcus is an IT specialist, robot master, and a developer. As they sit there, they are parts of the this was a fun way to do grads, though. Oh god, messages. Anyway, perpetually silly ride for word phrase and sentence. No sense of how high percent grad. Natural professional game developer. And program of yours but he's working the very depths of the industry. After you hear the voice in endless supply lines, self thoughtless writers wrote down, Oh, she knows the voice of fate. Voice says, Morning. 
Yes, you get. The conscience. Screw you, conscience. Thank you for your help and support, people. And to all the wonderful people talking about our game. How's that? So now you can do New Game Plus. Of course, you can go to the gallery and realize how bad you screwed up things. So, percentage of players who have this ending. <laughs> Apparently a high percentage of people screwed everything up. So, I don't feel that bad. Pretty sure you can also end the game very early, like after the seven week thing, if you, you know, merge everyone, or let everyone live, or something like that, or didn't follow the rules. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. That was Death and Taxes, and we screwed everything up because we listened to fate. Yay. Anyway, thank you all. Have a nice day.